Thanks for watching this video. Today we're going to talk about converting your bound book from FastBound into the Core Store bound book module. So over here I've got several bound books. I'm just going to create uh, one, or I already created one called Fast. There's no records in it. So to actually convert from FastBound, I'll click the three dot menu, click on import from FastBound, and there's only two pieces of information that's required. We need the API key and we need the account number. Both of those pieces of information are in FastBound. Uh, the account number actually you can find when you log into your FastBound, your account number is in the web address. It's the numeric part uh, of the web address and the API key you can find by going into the FastBound settings in the top, top right corner of the screen, uh, you'll see there's an actual API key. So you'll see in the top right here, I've got a key or I can regenerate a new key. If you already have a key, make sure to just show it and then copy it. Again, this is all blurred out. We don't want to show any sensitive information. So once you have the API key, you can just copy it. If you highlight it and then uh, copy, and then you'll go back to Core Store and you'll paste the API key. Again, I'm going to have this blurred out um, so we don't put any sensitive information. And then I'll put my actual account number. So in this case, I'll just put the numeric account number, whatever it might be. And at this point, I can choose whether or not to um, change what bound book the records are going to be fed into. And this is just a drop down of your bound books. You can also choose the status um, of what records do you want to bring in. Do you want to import all your records only what's in stock, which is what's available? Do you want to import pending disposed um, or everything that has been disposed? And then you can also import your deleted records. Again, if you're moving all of history, you just choose all. Um, typically, you can close your book and just import what's available. Uh, again, uh, it's entirely up to you as far as what information you want to bring in. Now, this process can take a long time if you've got a big bound book. Um, so I'll just go ahead and choose available. And then I'll click the import button. So once you click the import button, it'll take a few minutes and the records will then appear in the bound book. All right, once the import happens, uh, it will go back to the import screen. I can just click on bound book and you'll see that in this case, I've got all my records here that got imported, all the fields that it can find. Uh, it will match up and Basically, you're all set. I should mention, you can also choose whether or not to update inventory. Uh, again, typically, if you're importing in-stock items and um, you, you can actually click that checkbox and make sure to update your inventory so that quantities get updated. So again, that's right under the import fastbound, the last checkbox. You'll just check that. Thanks for watching this video, and we look forward to seeing you in other videos.